my name is Donna and I write Purple Face Pansies blog. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about great faith. There's some scripture in Luke 7, 1 through 10 that talks where Jesus says this is a man of great faith. So I want to talk about the elements that this gentleman had that showed his great faith. He was a centurion who was in the army of the Romans, and yet he sent Jewish leaders to Jesus to ask Jesus to heal the centurion's servant. He, the centurion had to have been well respected for Jewish leaders to do that for him. And the Jewish leaders asked Jesus to heal his servant. The centurion felt unworthy to go before Jesus. He felt that he was not not a man of God that could come before Jesus. So the, the Jewish leaders came before Jesus and talked to him about the servant of the centurion. And Jesus said, sure, I'll heal him. And so Jesus and the Jewish leaders went to, were on their way to the centurion's house. Well, the centurion came out and said, said, No, no, Lord Jesus, please don't come to my house. I am unworthy. I know you can heal my servant from where you are. The centurion said, I have people underneath me that I tell them go and they go, and I tell them come and they come. And you are the same way. You can tell someone to be healed, and they will be healed. And you can tell tell them when and where to be healed. And so the centurion knew what God could do, knew what Jesus could do. So sure enough, Jesus said, okay, I will heal your servant. And the servant was healed. So, to me, there are two elements of great faith that Jesus saw in this centurion. After, he, after everything had happened, and, and Jesus had heard what the centurion said to him, he said, I have not seen great faith like this in Israel, that, that this man of God who was a Roman, that this man who was a Roman was... A believer and had faith like even the children of Israel did not have. So there are two elements of faith, of great faith, that strike me in um, this story. And one is humility. The centurion said, I am not worthy to go to Jesus. Would you please go for me to the Jewish leaders and so the Jewish leaders went and Jesus was coming to his house and he said I'm not worthy for you to come to my house please just heal my servant in the Gospels there's several places where humility is is honored or or respected and and is, is something that Jesus honors. One is when, one of the places, one of the many places, is when John the Baptist sees Jesus coming and he says, this is a man whose sandals I am unworthy to untie. He shouldn't even be putting water on his feet this Jesus is too holy, too, too beyond my level. 
And then there's another story where the two Pharisees are praying. And one is praying, Oh, Lord, I fast for you and I pray and I read the Bible and I do all these things for you. I am so worthy and I am so wonderful. But the other Pharisee is beating his chest and he's saying, Lord, I'm so unworthy to come before you. I'm a sinner and, and I don't deserve to speak to you. And Jesus says, which one will get his prayers answered? The one who says, oh Lord, I am unworthy. And so I believe that part of this centurion's great faith is his unworthiness and his willingness to admit his unworthiness. Then the second element of great faith is that he knows how God works. He knows that Jesus can, can heal from far away or from close up. He, he knows Jesus' power. He knows the, the ability that Jesus has to do whatever Jesus chooses to do. So that means to me that we can hold Jesus' hand and we can say, Lord Jesus, there's a little four-month-old over in Japan who's alone and they just found. And I pray that you take care of that little four-month-old. Raise him or her to know you and give him security. Give him or her security to, to make it through life. And Jesus can, can work in someone who's over in Japan. And we can hold Jesus' hand and say, Jesus, I'm in need of a job. I need you to find me a job that will fit my needs and that I will fit their needs. And I, I need you to find it for me as soon as you can. And Jesus will listen and he will understand and he will work. And we know that. That is great faith. That is great faith. So, I just wanted to talk a little bit about that this morning. I read the scripture this morning. I just happened to. It was part of a devotional book. And it just really struck me. It just really meant a lot to me. So, anyway, today's Thursday. I hope you have a good Thursday and a good Friday and a great weekend. See you soon.